Hello everyone, welcome to something of everything. In this short video, I'll show you how to get column design result summary from ETFs to Excel in pivot table so that you can easily group as well as detail out the columns faster. To do that, you have to analyze the structure, then design the structure so that you can get the column design results. Let us first complete the analysis. Wait for the analysis to be completed. Once the analysis has been done, you have to click on Concrete Frame Design. Once the design will be completed, the magenta color will show you the column design results. Once the design is completed, you have to go to Display menu, go to Show Tables, and in Column Design, Design Data, Column Frame Design Output, you have to select Concrete Column Design Summary. If there is a check mark in selections, you must have selected some members, you uncheck it and press OK. Once you press OK, you will get the design result table in the ETEPS format. You have to export the table to Excel. Once the same is exported to Excel, you will get the result in Excel in this format. You have to press the A1 cell and click on insert menu and pivot table. You do not have to do anything here, just press OK. It will give you the sheet for pivoting of the table that you have just exported from ETEPS. And in the rows, columns and values, you have to see, set up the data. In the rows, you have to set up the story. In the columns, you have to set up the labels. In the values, you have to set up the AS. In the values setting, it shows you count of AS. As you know, all the columns that you have export, uh, exported to Excel gives you the three results of reinforcement at zero point, midpoint and end point. So all you have to do is you have to click on count of AS, view field setting and instead of count you have to select max. It will give you the maximum value of all the three stations in Excel. You have to go to row labels, sort it out from Z to A so that you can get the plinth level at the bottom and uncheck the fill of blank so you can get the results from plinth to stair cabin of each and every column from these results you can get the view of all the columns enforcement requirement so that you can better judge which columns needs to be grouped or not you need if you need to have if you need to see the size of columns all you have to do is you have to go to the pivot fields and select the design set section and press uh, put it in the columns menu and you will get the design section size that is size of columns here if you want anything to be added to the filters it will be added here and from that you can just press it and you can get which columns are of 230 by 600 which columns are of 300 by 600 and you can better search the column sizes as well as the grouping. To get the column numbers, all you have to go to ETEPS. You have to have a plan of any level that you want. Just go to check mark, that is control W and object assignment, click from labels. And you can know that which are the columns that you have been seen in the Excel. Remember, it will not give you the results of shear walls. For that, you have to go to display, show tables. But before going there, we have to design the shear wall. Once the design has been completed, you have to go to display, show tables. And in shear wall output, you have to get the shear wall design summary. We don't want this table now. We only want shear wall tables and we will get that here. We have to export the same just like we have done in columns. You will get the table, go to cell A1, press insert, go to pivot table, press OK. In the rows you have to put stories, in the columns you have to put peer labels. And in the values you have to put required reinforcement percentage. Make sure it gives you the required reinforcement percentage. Instead of count you have to change it to max and it, it will show you 
the percentage of reinforcement why it has shown just two values because i guess we have selected the here was the and in the table it shows you that it is for the selection only uncheck it press okay and you can see still it is showing only for the ff select just remove the selection go to tables and press ok still it shows the same because 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 i guess it has just designed that level only you have to redesign for the whole levels go to tables and press ok yes now it has given you the details of shear walls at each levels you have got the table go to a1 insert pivot table press ok store in the rows peer in the columns and required reinforcement in the values and change it to the maximum and you get the percentage of columns just uncheck the data which are blank and sort out from z to a now that you know that the zero volts at the top are governing so you can detail it out accordingly thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe the same thank you